Hi, in this video we'll talk about uh, how can you file your GSTR1 through TaxRahi uh, GST return filing software. GSTR1 essentially refers to your sales data. Now with our software you have two options. If you have your data in form of Excel or in Tally or other such ERP systems, then you can straight away start from this dashboard itself and uh, basically import your data if you want to from here. The second option is that if you want to use our software for creating your invoices and billing, you can also do that. So we provide you accounting and billing option along with the GST filing software. This is how the accounting software looks like. So you can simply create invoices here. You can add products. It automatically applies the tax and everything. So once you're done, then you can straight away click on file GST return and all the data will be transferred to the GST filing portal. Now let's for simplicity sake, now assume that you do not or you're not using our uh, invoicing system. You're using some third party invoicing system. So in that case, you'll just go to the sales tab Let me just clear all. The first or the simplest option that you have is that you keep your uh, data alongside in form of register whatever and you can start typing in. Each line here as you can see represents a particular invoice. There are validations that have been fixed in each of these cells. For example, uh, in this case, since it's an interstate supply, it tells you that you can only enter IGST. Our software automatically detects which type of invoice is it. So since you provided the GST number, it automatically detected that it's a B2B invoice. Now, this invoice has been done on 12% rate. Let's assume that uh, this invoice, the same invoice had another rate uh, by 18%. So you can simply click on add rate. Everything else, all the other details, all the invoice or the common details will be copied on its own and only the rate level detail is something that you can add now. So I'll add 18%. I'll add the total value, the IGST amount. And again, the type has also been auto determined. So this is how you can kind of enter the invoices by typing manually on the screen. And this is more like an, an Excel screen. It's as simple as that. If you want to delete an invoice, you can just simply press this button and delete the invoice. Now, uh, let's say that you had data either in Tally or you had an Excel with the data. So you can simply import your data. So you go here. Now you have multiple options through which you can import your data. You can either import it through Tally. You can e either import it via CSV or Excel. And then you can choose whether you want to overwrite the existing data on the screen or you want to append. By append, I mean the data existing on the screen will remain and the new data that you're importing will just add on to the existing data. By overwrite, the existing data on the screen will be completely deleted and your new data will be added on the screen. So let me just show you how to import data from an Excel file. So step one is that you can download our Excel template. So I have already downloaded the Excel template and I've, uh, I have feed it the data in that just to kind of save time. So this is the Excel file that I had prepared. Now similar to the sheet that you saw on the software, this is an Excel sheet wherein for B2B invoices you need to enter the GSTN. For B2C invoices, obviously there will be no GSTN, so you can leave that as blank and then you can enter the place of supply, the total invoice value and everything. So if you want to add uh, another rate in a particular invoice, 
so we just copy paste the whole invoice and then just change the rate amount okay so these details will remain the same as the invoice is the same it's just that this the same invoice has more than one rates now you can just save the data and what you need to do next is you need to go back to the software once you've saved the file you just open the sales file that we just created and bingo it will start uploading the data and within seconds you will see that all the data that you had in the file will be there on the screen now on the screen itself now if you see that there is some error you can edit the data on the screen so the the system has been made or the, i would say that the screen has been made uh, keeping in mind all the functionalities that excel provides you so if you want to filter anything you can just use this filter and select if you want to see data for only for akhil and aman so you can select that similarly if you want to sort the data you can just simply click on name and it will sort the data by name if you want to sort the data by invoice number you can click here it will sort the data by invoice number if you want to sort it by date it sort it sorts the data by date so all these functionalities are easily available now let me also uh, run you through the other functionalities that you have now in this case if you want to add another invoice you can just click this button a new row will be added in the end and you can add your invoice here add whatever details that are there the second thing that you can do is you can validate all the invoices now let's say that i do an error somewhere so let's say that i enter a random rate and i click on validate invoices so this functionality will go one by one to each and every row and check the data like if had i entered any incorrect value it would have given me an error report on the screen so just to show you an example if i increase the taxable value more than the total value and save the data and if i enter a random rate here now as i try to validate the invoice you see that there is an error in rate and taxable value for row 12 okay so i go to row 12 which is this i correct the rate and i correct the taxable value this has to be lower than the total value and then save the data so the errors will go away so basically this functionality ensures that only the correct data goes to the government let me talk about the other features which are above here so one is the manage parties feature now you might have noticed that in some cases as you type in the gstn the name automatically appears so that is something that we have saved in the manage party section so what happens is the moment you enter a gstn for the first time and enter the name it get automatically saved and goes to the manage parties if you want to refer to the error reports again you can press the error report button this is the export button so if for your own reference you want to export the data in excel format you can just click the export data button and your data will be exported in excel like this okay import is something that you already talked about <coughs> amend button can help you amend those invoices so this is essentially applicable in case you want to uh, amend invoices of some previous but previous months so uh, for example if i am in july and i want to amend an invoice in january so those are the invoices that will be specifically entered in the amend tab now this is the manage columns button let's say for example uh, you are a small retailer and you only deal in b2cs transactions so again you need not see gst and invoice number because these fields are not applicable to you so you can click on b2cs and you'll only see the columns that are applicable to you so again you can modify change add or remove columns as per your own convenience if you want to delete everything clear the screen you can press the delete all button finally 
you can filter the invoices if you want to see B2CS invoice you can see B2CS if you want to see B2B B2B if you want to see all the invoices you can see all the invoices now as I told you that type is something that is auto determined by the system but if you want to change it manually you can change it manually as well for example in case of some deemed invoices if you want to specify manually you can do that and in case of SEW invoices again you can manually do that the last column is the e-commerce GSTN and that is only applicable in case wherein you are selling via an e-commerce portal searching is easy through this search bar and uh, I can easily enter my search query here for example in this case I want to see Tamil Nadu place of supply so I can search here and then see the data <coughs> so I think that this is an overall view of uh, the GST one filing part so just to re, re uh, synthesize you can export data import data then you can manage your columns you can validate your invoices you can add invoices if you want to create full invoices you can do that in our accounting plus billing software and directly import from there otherwise you can simply uh, create or enter only the required fields by government here in our system or via the excel so let's say that we are done with the GSTR on filing and I'll save it now the next step is that I also need to enter the debit credit notes I, I won't go into deep details as I already talked about sales here so debit credit notes are essentially your sales return purchase return those kind of things now similar to the sales tab again you can import the data simply from Excel tally or other software you can export the data and again if you want to type the data on your own on the screen you can do that as well so that is also feasible here apart from debit credit note there are advances as well so again you can add your advances here so this refers to all the advances that have been provided for this specific uh, period which is something that you need to add and you just need to provide the place of supply then the rate total advance received the respective IGST, CGST, or SGST amount similarly you can also adjust the advances or the, the, this essentially refers to advances that have been adjusted for this particular month they can be entered here the other tab include details around your HSN summary which is the total HSNs that have been kind of used or the sales for which have been drawn and then what has been the total quantity for that particular HSN or SSE the total value the taxable value so all those information need to be provided here we will also be providing a utility soon here through which you can just import all your invoices in form of Excel and we'll auto compute the complete HSN summary for you so I think that's it that was primarily the, the sales part or the GSTR one part let's now move on to the filing component so once you see that everything has been added and everything has been taken from your end you can proceed with the filing this filing by the way has to be done uh, typically before 10th of every month so let's say I want to file my GSTR one so the system will ask for a confirmation the moment you press yes so you will be uh, sent an OTP by the GST network on your mobile phone you need to enter that OTP press submit then it will authenticate your identity with the GSTN data will be saved at the GSTN and then once data is saved then we will get a summary from the GSTN of your complete data which will be something like this now you can review the complete summary so for example B2CL refers to the business to consumer large invoices B2CS is the business to consumer small invoices B2B invoices so everything all the totals can be seen here now at this point in time your return is not filed it's just showing the summary to do the final filing 
you have to either sign the return via e-sign or EVC or via DV, uh, DSC. Like let's say that I want to file it via e-sign. So this will ask for my Aadhaar number. I'll have to add my Aadhaar number here. And the moment I provide my Aadhaar number, and if your Aadhaar number is linked to your uh, account, then an OTP will be sent to your phone number. You just need to enter that OTP here and then click on file. So your return will be filed. The other option is that you can file with the DSC digital signature. Now here what you need to do is you need to download our DSC utility. So you just click here and it will download our DSC utility. So I've already downloaded it. Uh, you also need to have Java installed on your system to be able to use this utility. Now let's say I just double click the utility. So I press OK. Now it shows an error because I haven't attached a DSC. So let me attach the DSC. I've, I've attached the digital signature. So then I press OK. Now it has automatically detected that a uh, digital signature by name of Jatin has been attached. So I press OK. Now here I need to provide uh, the login details of the main admin account uh, of the portal. So in this case it was GST demo at So the moment I enter my login and password, it automatically fetches all the companies that were there in my account. I can choose which return I want to file and for which financial period I want to file the return. And I can just click proceed. So once you click proceed, you need to enter the pin of the DSC. Now the return has been successfully filed. The next step is that you go back to your return filing window and here you will see that it has been signed and then you can file. That's it. So this was the overall process of how the GSTR1 can be filed through our system. Hope you found the video useful. Uh, we'll be covering GSTR2 in our next video so you can watch that. Okay. Thanks. Bye.